getting out of the hospital. The cop. He don't remember nothing from that night, can he? Amnesia or some shit. Brain all twisted up. I got people in the hospital who say he barely remembers his own name. So you're good. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and it's great to be back with another Power video. Power Book 3 Season 2. I know a lot of you reach out to me to talk about Ghost Resurrection article from Deadline. And as your only advocate that Ghost is still alive, I'm working on giving you some details and breakdowns soon on that subject. In the meantime, let's focus on the first episode of Season 2 of Raising Kanan. In this video, I'll be talking about the plans Detective Howard has for Kanan why he said he lost his memory, and I'll break down other events that happened in this episode. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, share, like, and leave your comments below. Now let's get straight into business. So Kenan was sent to his auntie away from town for about three months after the night he shot Detective Howard, just so he won't be a possible suspect. Now, Raquel told Kenan that Howard is out of hospital, but he has lost his memory. Even though Kanan doesn't seem comfortable with the memory loss situation, Raquel seemed to be sure on the fact that her son is safe from possible suspicion. Now, I believe most of you know very well by now why Detective Howard was lying about his memory loss. Now, the main reason he decided to play the memory loss card is to minimize the police running an investigation on whoever shot him. Because for someone who can't really remember who shot him, Running an investigation with such a person will definitely be a wild goose chase. Now, what is the second reason Detective Howard is lying about his memory loss? He is protecting his son and to me, he wants to use the situation to his advantage to make Kanan believe everything he will be saying moving forward. Just imagine for now, all what Kanan knows is he has lost his memory. If Howard showed up on Kanan one-on-one and told him to his face about what he did that night, by shooting him, Kanan will wonder why he lied about losing his memory instead of calling for him and his mother's arrest. Now, in that case, Kanan will start to think there is more to Detective Howard than it seems because why would a cop know his shooter and did not disclose it to the authorities and isn't looking for him to kill? Now, this is Howard's ticket into Kanan's head. From my point of view, Howard won't arrest Kanan in exchange for his trust. This is when Kanan will start asking questions. Now, what exactly is Howard's plan? His plan is to tell Kanan and make sure Kanan sees him, which he did with this drive-by. And now that he got Kanan's attention, his next move is probably to move to Raquel. Now, this meeting with Raquel can play in several ways. It's either Howard pretends he doesn't remember what happened to him in front of Raquel, or he will surprise her with the truth by telling her exactly what he knows. If this happened to be the case, Raquel will be wondering why he didn't bring in Kanan already. Now, this is where Howard will corner Raquel. He will redirect Raquel again as usual to tell Kanan the truth about who he really is and what she asked him to do, which is killing his own father without knowing. Like we know Howard, he is going to give Raquel tighter terms and ultimatums to tell Kanan the truth. Now, what possible conditions can Howard give Raquel? It's either he snitches on Kanan, which I don't think he will easily do, or he will tell Kanan the truth himself. Now, the question is, will Raquel be bold enough to tell Kanan the truth that Howard is his real father? I'm sure she will lie to him again for now just to figure out her next move. Now, I don't know how long Detective Howard can keep his memory loss act with the police department, but I'm sure his partner here will soon find out he was lying about his memory loss. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Detective Howard and his memory loss scheme. Do you believe he truly lost his memory or we are all on the same page here? Now, moving on, Raquel is going to have a lot of heat on her plate apart from Detective Howard's issue. Now that Unique is back with no product and crew, she has her back to watch and she will have to be more protective of Kanan, who is her weakness. Now, talking about weaknesses, Jukebox and her father don't seem to be getting along anytime soon. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Uncle Marvin is trying his best to reconcile with his daughter after the brawl between them, but Jukebox is not entertaining her father who nearly choked her to death. Now, Jukebox is going to make moves to look for her mother. Now that she has found her mom's picture, the next thing is to ask questions of her whereabouts. Well, we all know Marvin is the wrong person she will ask. 
The only person she can ask and who will be willing to help her is Raquel. One can say the ruthlessness we saw in the grown-up jukebox started from two experiences. One is the death of her girlfriend Nicole and her father attempting to kill her for grieving. Now, these two things to me were too much for a girl like Jukebox at her age. And I won't be shocked she'll end up killing her own father, and that will not be surprising. Seem like you and Juke really connected. Kiss my ass, Kanan. Let me know what you also think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's continue this discussion there. Now, there is a question on my mind I want to put across. That is, looking at how Kanan is indecisive about his abilities, how he has a lot of doubts about himself and what he can do. Does that mean that Breeze was really the tougher guy who impacted on Ghost and Tommy in the drag game? Or along the way, Kanan overcame his fears growing up? Let me know your thoughts about this. Secondly, there is another interesting question Crown asked Jessica that, what will Lulu do if he finds out that they are hitting each other behind him? Do you think Uncle Lulu will kill Crown as Jessica said? Let me know what you think about this and the whole of the first episode of Raising Canaan Season 2. Personally, I think it's going to be a great season with the fact that they have already given the green light for Season 3 production. Share your thoughts with me and let's continue this power conversation. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Like I said early on, I'll be working on this ghost resurrection article that you guys are expecting from me and I promise I'll be giving you details with regards to that information. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching. I said he didn't tell me anything specific, but he was scared, Rock. Right?